At a Denver church, family and friends grieved the loss of Michaela Medic, one of 12 victims shot and killed in an Aurora, Colorado movie theater. Outside her funeral flowed a sea of grief full of tears. Mourners donned pink bows and Hello Kitty emblems because Medic loved the color and the cartoon figure. It did. It belonged to her. My aunt wanted to wear it and couldn't find a chain, so she asked me to wear it to the funeral and keep it by my heart for her. This was one of her favorite necklaces. She loved it. While the morning of this tragedy is public, the investigation into it is getting more secretive. A local judge has amended a gag order preventing authorities from releasing information on James Holmes, the 24-year-old suspect arrested in connection with the mass shooting. It now also applies to the place he studied, the University of Colorado, Denver. This comes after reports that Holmes sent a package containing a notebook with threatening messages to a professor at the school. On Monday, when he first appeared in court, the university received a suspicious package, but it would not confirm the contents nor its sender. Federal authorities refused to confirm the reports to the Associated Press. The FBI and local investigators have examined the shooting suspect's apartment. So is Holmes's defense team. Neighbors began returning to the building Wednesday night and Thursday morning. It was evacuated for days as investigators collected evidence and rendered the apartment block safe. Holmes is accused of bringing an assault rifle and two other firearms inside a theater and laying siege to a crowd of moviegoers, killing a dozen and injuring 58 others, then setting lethal booby traps in his apartment. Outside Holmes' old residence, the Reverend Jesse Jackson paid a visit and called for a revival on a national assault weapons ban. Uh, the rising domestic terrorism is a threat to our well-being. Because of this act of terrorism, the movie theater is not open. And these are empty places at the dinner table because of this massacre. With so little information available, the suspect remains an enigma. But the pain of those who lost loved ones is not puzzling at all. John Moan Associated Press, Aurora, Colorado.